G'day everybody, it is Matt here from Terra Media, and today we're going to talk about how to incentivize your customers to leave reviews on your WooCommerce store by offering them a discount off of future orders. Sounds like a complex function, but it is actually really, really easy to do using the customer reviews for WooCommerce plugin. Now, I've assumed that you've already got the customer reviews for WooCommerce plugin installed. If not, Head to this video up here, and that'll take you through the process of how to set it up using my recommended configuration settings. So, you've got customer reviews for WooCommerce installed. Let's head to our WordPress dashboard and get it set up. From here, head down to the reviews option in the menu and go to settings. This takes us into the main settings screen where we configured all of our standard customer review reminder settings. To configure our discount incentives, we wanna to go to this tab up here, review for discount. Our first option is the enable review for discount setting. Ticking this box will enable the functionality for customers to be sent a discount coupon after they leave a review. Now, I don't turn that on until I'm done actually configuring and testing the functionality so that I know it's, it's right. So we'll come back to that at the end. The next option is coupon to use. And this is where we determine if we wanna use an existing coupon that we've configured in WooCommerce or whether we want to generate a unique coupon for each customer after they leave a review. Now, I would suggest that generating a unique coupon is probably the best option because that ensures that it's going to work for the customer. You're not having coupons being leaked and being used by lots of different people that haven't actually left you a review. Our next option is BCC address. So what this option does is it lets you put in an email address that you want to receive a copy of all the coupons that get sent out. This is really useful for testing and making sure that it is actually working. Next down is the reply to address. And that is where emails will go if someone replies to the coupon email. Our next section is this generation of individual coupons section. Now this will vary depending on what you selected up in coupon to use. If you selected existing coupons, then this will show existing coupon information instead. The rules related to generation of individual coupons are very much the same as what you will see in the standard WooCommerce coupon functionality. The discount type lets you specify whether it's a percentage or a fixed amount discount. If you have other plugins on, in your store that add additional types of fees, then they'll be here too. So your default ones that'll appear with any WooCommerce store are the percentage discount, fixed cart discount, and fixed product discount. Because of plugins that I've got installed, I also have a sign-up fee and recurring product discount, both fixed and percentage options. The coupon amount will be the value that this type is. So let's say you wanted to give people 5% off, you would just enter five here with the percentage discount type, and that'll make it 5% off. If you made that a fixed cart discount, then it would be $5 off the cart. And if you made it a fixed product discount, then it would be $5 off a specific product. Allow free shipping. If you tick this box, that will give your customers free shipping when they use this coupon. The validity lets you determine how many days that the coupon will be valid for after it's generated. I would suggest that 90 days or three months is probably a good time frame generally. The minimum spend lets you specify a minimum amount that customers have to have in their cart in order to use the coupon. This can help increase your minimum order values but customers might not appreciate it if it's too high. So think about this in terms of what your strategy is. I would suggest to be $50 would be a good minimum. Maximum spend is the maximum amount that the coupon can apply to. I generally leave this blank. Individual use only means that this coupon can't be used with other coupons. Tick that box to restrict usage if you want to. The exclude sale items option prevents the coupon from being used on items that are actually already on sale. The products and exclude products field are variable depending on what type of discount you're offering. So if you're offering a percentage or a fixed cart amount discount, these two will either require the products to be in or not in the cart for the discount to apply. And if it is a product fixed amount discount, then these are the products that either have to be in the cart or not in the cart for the discount coupon to apply. 
So for example, using our percentage discount, if I specify a product in here, then that product will have to be in the cart for that percentage discount to apply. If I enter the product in the exclude products field, then that product would have to not be in the cart for the discount to apply. Conversely, if I was using a fixed product discount, then whatever product I enter here will be the product that the discount applies to. In the same way, if I enter a fixed product discount in the exclude products section, then we're saying the discount does not apply to those products. So I'll just put this back on percentage discount and then we'll continue on down. The product categories and exclude categories work in much the same way. So if you wanted to restrict your coupons to only be valid for specific categories, then you would select those here. If you wanted to ex exclude specific categories from the discount, then you would enter those in the exclude categories option. The usage limit restricts how many times this coupon can then be used before it becomes voided in your system. The default is zero, which actually means unlimited usage. I would suggest that if you are generating coupons for each customer, you should limit them. I would put this as one time. So the customer gets one discount for leaving a review. So that's how we would set it up if we are using generated coupons for each review. But what about if we want to use an existing coupon? Well, come back up to the top here and we'll change coupon to use to existing coupon. Now in this case, we would scroll down here and in place of the generation settings, we have the options to choose an existing coupon. Simply type in the field to search for the coupon you want and select it. And that coupon will then get sent to any customers who leave reviews. So this way is a lot simpler, but your coupons are a bit more open to abuse because you're gonna to have to have the coupon available for unlimited usage. You could restrict it to one use per customer, but you then run into the problem if a customer comes back, buys again, which hopefully they will since you're giving them a discount. Uh, it means that the next time they go to use it, if they leave you another review, the system won't let them. So I, I find this is a bit more open to abuse, but you can do some really cool things with it. So for example, you could use a plugin like Advanced Coupons for WooCommerce, which I will link to down in the description, to do things with loyalty points and run a loyalty program, in which case you could then offer customers bonus points for leaving reviews rather than a discount amount. But that is for another video. All right, so let's switch back to generating a unique coupon and we'll go on with configuring our email template. Scroll down to the bottom of the screen here and we have our template configuration fields. This email is the one that is going to be sent out to customers after they've left a review. So they won't see this unless they actually submit a review for you after being sent a reminder by customer reviews for WooCommerce. So the email subject lets you configure what will actually be in the subject line. The default here has the site title at the start. I personally prefer to put that at the end and have discount mentioned at the start. So something like that instead. Another good option is to personalize it a little bit more. So you'll see down below this field that there are some variables available. So for example, you could use the customer first name up here and say something like discount for you first name. The next field is email heading. Now this field is what's shown at the top of the email in bold. The default is just thank you for leaving a review. Again, you can personalize this using the variables. The next section is email body. Now this gives you a bit more control over what you put in it. You can add images if you wish to. And again, you can use these variables in it. I would suggest potentially adding some instructions on how to use it and maybe a link to your store as well. Make sure in this email to highlight any terms and conditions related to the use of the coupon. So for example, if it's only valid for 90 days, like ours is, I would put some text in here that says valid for 90 days. And I would also consider adding some instructions. Uh, if you have product restrictions, definitely highlight those here as well. You want customers to be clear on what they have to do and make it as easy as possible for them. So if we continue on down, the other options that we can set here are our email colors, one and two. These are the customer reviews for WooCommerce colors by default. You can change them. Make sure you test the email so you can see how your colors look. To send a test, come down to the send test field and just enter your email address and click the blue send test button. And that will go ahead and send an email to you and you'll be able to see how it looks. Once you're done and you're satisfied with everything and that it's working, make sure you save your changes. You may recall that we didn't actually enable this to start with. If I'm all good, I would now click enable and just come down and 
save those changes. We can see up the top here that our settings have now been saved, everything's enabled, and we're good to go. So everything should now be working as expected. All right, we now have our discount set up to send a coupon to customers who leave reviews. Now we wanna change our promotion a little bit to let customers know they can get that discount coupon. So how do we do that? Well, come with me over to your review reminder settings again. So that's this one up the top here, review reminder. From the reviews settings screen, we wanna scroll about halfway to three quarters down the page to where the email template settings are. And you'll see we now have this yellow prompt here telling us that discounts are enabled and to mention that in the emails. We probably wanna change something in here and say, would really help others and we'll give you a discount off your next order. And perhaps we would wanna add something to the subject as well. Really, we just wanna emphasize that customers can get a discount if they leave a review. Once we're done, scrolling down to the bottom of the page, we can send a test here by entering our email address and clicking send test. Finally, hit save changes, and that's it. We're now incentivizing our customers to leave a review by offering them a discount. Now with any luck, that's going to increase your conversion rates and you will start to see more reviews coming through. So I hope you found this video helpful. Be sure to like it and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this from me in our series on customer reviews for WooCommerce.